Okay, this is Plythe with Treasures of Fort Pierce website, and I'm down here at the Fort Pierce City Marina. It's beautiful. It's been redone. The grand opening was actually last year at this time, and I'm excited to be down here at the Lionfish Safari. It's the fourth annual one. It's very original. Uh, I don't think anybody else is doing that uh, in the county or even in, maybe in the state. So we're excited. We're introducing and talking to some people about what they're doing here. So stay with us. This is Plythe with Treasures of Fort Pierce and I'm here at the fourth annual Lionfish Safari in the beautiful downtown Fort Pierce City Marina. And I have with me Nyla Pipes and she's going to tell us a little bit about this organization and she's on the committee and what they're doing and why they're doing it. So tell us more. Well, I'll tell you, um, the lionfish invasion in our lagoon and our near shore reefs along the entire state of Florida is actually horrible. We have millions of lionfish. Nobody actually even knows how many. And they eat everything in the lagoon, which is a big problem because, you know, as you know, our lagoon is where every species in the ocean practically starts. That's where they spawn, that's where the juvenile young grow up. So the lionfish are really causing an issue for not only our local area, but the entire ocean. Right. Now, how long have we known that the lionfish have been in this area destroying the environment? You know, we found the first lionfish in the late 80s, early 90s, and they think that, you know, it has spread because of hurricanes and different things like that. Yeah, you know, they came in because they're a beautiful fish. They were an aquarium fish that was introduced accidentally, much like many of our invasives. Okay. Well, I know from a fact, for a fact, because I've tasted them, that they're very delicious eating. So when we catch them and bring them here, we can actually make food out of them. And who are some of the people that are going to be making uh, dishes today? We have Orange Bloom, which is our new local restaurant up on 2nd Street. And we also have Potbelly Deli. We have a chef from the market, Chef Kevin, and I'm excited to see what he does with it. Um, and we have our own food truck, Fat Ch uh, Fats Chicken, is going to do it as well. So I don't know if they're going to deep fry or not. Okay. And uh, Selfish Brewing Company, who's a local microbrewery company here, and they're going to actually be cooking as well. So we'll probably be talking to them because a brewing company making uh, a dish that should be really interesting <laughs> and is there anything else that you'd like this is a two-day event it's uh, ends tonight mm -hmm. at 6 I believe right mm -hmm. is there anything else that you want to tell people Absolutely. You know, you can help with the lionfish invasion. If you see lionfish on your local restaurant menus as a special or something along, along those lines, eat it. It helps. If it's not a poisonous fish, it's venomous. So if they're prepared by cutting off the spines, you're absolutely safe to eat these lionfish, and you are their only predator right now. Oh, great. Thanks, Nyla, for talking to us, and uh, we'll be back with some other people. This is Plythe with Treasures of Fort Pierce, and here we're still at the fourth annual Lionfish Safari, and I'm here with Ashley Miller. Ashley, tell us about your what you're doing and why you're here. Okay. Hello, I'm Ashley Miller, and we are actually performing juvenile research on different shark species, which are called elasmobranchs, in around the Fort Pierce Inlet, an island called Wesley's Island. It's situated perfectly in between the Indian River Lagoon and the inlet, and we're doing studies on the smaller species of sharks, and to basically show a relationship between all trophic levels found within the Indian River Lagoon, between fish, seagrasses, and larger apex predators like elasmobranchs. And the reason why this is so important is because we have degradation of your seagrass beds of smaller um, species of fish, and once you study the larger apex predators, you'll be able to see a change throughout all of your um, trophic levels of the food chain. And I, I believe most people don't realize how many sharks that we have here in our lagoon. It's a, a little scary for some people, but tell us about what kind of sharks they are that are around here. So you don't have to worry too much. Um, it is common to see smaller species of sharks like your bonnet heads, um, you can see hammerheads, bull sharks um, most of the time, but most of them are actually three feet or less because they're 
They've been there since patrician, since their birth, and then they are actually raised there. Then eventually, once they hit a certain size limit, a little past three, four feet, they travel out into the um, into the Atlantic Ocean here. So it acts as a nursery ground, the Indian River Lagoon. It's a very important area for all these species. You have bull sharks, uh, which we love to talk about because they have a lot of um, ability to move into areas with changing salinities, like the lagoon. So you'll see them more frequently, but you can see great hammerheads, uh, not so common. Bonnetheads, very common. You can see even lemon sharks have been spotted, which are very exciting. Um, you'll see a lot of different species, reef sharks, that kind of thing, mostly of your small size. So not to worry. And the name of your company is Stella? Stella Maurice Environmental Research. Okay, and how long have you been doing this? We've been in business for two years. We are a 501c3 not-for-profit environmental research organization, and we've been working on different things. We do shark research, but we also do birding research and um, grouper research, that kind of thing, different fish species, all areas. We do recycling projects and lots of educational activities and workshops. So if our audience out here wants to know how to learn more about your organization, where do they go? You can go to www.stellamariceenvironmentalresearch.org and you can also check us out on Facebook, Stella Maurice Environmental Research. Thank you for your time, Ashley, and uh, try out some of that lionfish. I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, thanks. Hi, this is Plythe with Treasures of Fort Pierce. We're still here at the fourth annual Lionfish Safari, and I have with me Sailfish Brewing Company's own Al Beltron. Tell us what you do with Sailfish. I'm head brewer, general manager, and uh, just like to throw parties and come, come show up at events. It's just whatever they need. <laughs> great, yes, it's a great venue to have some sort of get together because it's outside. And they're expanding. Tell us about that. Yep, uh, we just got the building right here, uh, 130 North 2nd Street, right next to 2nd Street Bistro. And uh, we should be brewing in it by next week. We've been working on it hard for the past few months. And uh, first brews are going in next week. So exciting times, exciting times for us. Now, the really cool thing is he, they micro brew, handcrafted their own beer. They actually did a Treasures of Fort Pierce beer. Yes. And now they have a lionfish beer beer can yes. you tell us a little bit about that yeah this beer uh, this is gonna be the third year that we do it and uh, we coincided with this with the uh, safari every year now um, it is a, a jalapeno pale ale it's got a little bit of uh, grilled jalapeno green jalapeno some uh, fresh limes also grilled limes and cilantro in it really really cool beer uh, that's, that's a big seller for us you know people look forward to it every every year so I can't wait to try that yeah. also you're gonna be cooking we're gonna do. Uh, we're doing some a uh, curried lionfish on some naan bread, a little bit of a watermelon chutney. Um, it's a nice uh, pickled broccoli stock, uh, cucumber and onion on top of that with a uh, watermelon cucumber um, tzatziki sauce on it. So it should be really nice. That's awesome. And you can also come here, try some of the, what kind of beers do you have sampled today? Uh, right now I have a little bit of the lionfish I brought for the tournament, you know, for the, uh, for the competition. So I have a couple extra little samples if you guys want to come try it. And they also have some really great uh, wear here, clothing wear with the t-shirts uh, that block out the sun. And uh, so yeah. thanks, Al. Is there Thank anything so else much. that you want to say? Uh, no, no, come out today and have, have a party with us, man. It's a good time out here and eat some lionfish. It's delicious. We have great weather. So thanks a lot. Hey, this is Plythe with Treasures of Fort Pierce. Again, we're here at the fourth annual Lionfish Safari, and we want to talk about some of the uh, raffle items that we have here. Uh, one of these is from the Inlet uh, Beach Bar and Grill over on South Hutchison Island. And what are some other things we have? We have this wonderful uh, hurricane candle holder and a gift certificate to Chic and Shores. Uh, Chic and Shore things over here in downtown. Yeah, she's on um, Second Street and Avenue A. And then we have something from Motorized Kayaks over here. That's uh, a, a, a jungle tour for two with $120 value. Um, we have also a lot of other eco tour gift certificates from uh, lagoon tours to kayak trips. Yeah, that's and a we, big raffle. We are, we're known for our eco tourism here in Fort Pierce, which I, we're so very proud of our tourism and what we do here and how it's eco friendly. So, um, also, all the proceeds. 
All the proceeds go back to the Treasure Coast Lionfish Safari to help with our invasion problem. So 100% of what we do here today is going back toward the environment. So we, they appreciate all the donations, everything that people have done to chip in for this uh, amazing event that's really quite original. And uh, I don't think anybody else is doing this on the Treasure Coast. So um, thank you guys for um, letting you. us interview you and come on down and see us. with Treasures of Fort Pierce website and I'm here with Dean with the Fort Pierce City Marina. Tell us a little bit, last year was our grand opening here, so tell us a little bit about what's different about our marina. What's, what's different is we are now on our uh, second year of, of the marina. We had our National Marina Day uh, Saturday and with that with the marina has uh, totally been uh, re refurbished. Uh, we now have the new 137 new floating docks uh, out there in the intercoastal waterway. We've built uh, 12 islands and a peninsula protecting the waterfront of Fort Pierce. And uh, we, are, we have two restaurants here on site. So what also makes us unusual is we are actually open around 22 hours a day. We have staff on property, we sell fuel. Um, so we uh, have become a, almost a full 24 hour service marina facility. And I've heard that we're going to have a floating dot for those who just want to come in for the day. Yeah, in the future, uh, we've applied for grants and have been awarded some grants from FWC and Florida Inland Navigation Districts to go ahead and put a day dock in, which would be located in the internal part of the marina facility. We appreciate you talking to us on your day off, and we're here at the fourth annual Lionfish Safari. So thank you, Dean. Anything else you want to say? No, thank you very much and uh, eat as much lionfish as you can. It's great for the environment. Hey, this is Plyth with Treasures of Fort Pierce website and I'm here at the fourth annual Lionfish Safari and we're here with Gail Harrell. And how are you today? I am doing just great. Very excited to be here in Fort Pierce at the big uh, Lionfish Safari. We get the opportunity to do the tasting and the judging for this lionfish safari. Have you ever had lionfish before? Yes, actually I was a taster last year, had a wonderful time and I was just thrilled at how wonderful it is. We really need to do this uh, more often and market it. We need a commercial outlet for lionfish. And this is such a, a great opportunity for both of us here. And um, what else do you want to say about the lagoon or any other issues you want to say? 
Well, I think it's really key that we make sure we do everything possible to clean up the water and stop the releases from Lake Okeechobee. I was so thrilled this last session to pass amendment to pass Legacy Florida, which is going to use Amendment One Dollars. Twenty-five percent of Amendment One Dollars is going to go right into cleaning up our rivers, stopping the releases from Lake Okeechobee, and the impact on the lagoon is going to be terrific. That's terrific. I appreciate you coming out here in this heat and uh, let's have some fun. I can't wait to get some shots of us tasting. Absol okay. Absolutely. Thank I can't you. wait. Good afternoon. My name is Captain Don Voss. I'm one of the founders of the Lionfish Safari. Welcome to our fourth annual event. Okay, this is our uh, curried lionfish that we marinated in our own curry blend with some of our own lionfish pale ale. Uh, we uh, seared, it on a, seared it on the pan, served it on top of naan bread, uh, nice grilled naan bread that we smeared a, a watermelon sorrel chutney on, the fish right on top of that, and then we had some pickled, uh, pickled broccoli stock, onion and cauliflower slaw, uh, and then we finished it with a, a watermelon cucumber uh, tzatziki sauce. So, and then actually paired it with our lionfish beer. So you take a little sip, take a bite, and then after, after, after you end, you take another sip, and if it's too spicy, I got a little slice of watermelon to cool you down. We just served a very nice ceviche. It's a new take on a very traditional uh, South American dish. Ceviche, by definition, is a fish that's been marinated in lemon and lime juice. Our version has uh, lime juice, has a little bit of white vinegar, so it doesn't take uh, away from the other flavors. We put a little jalapeno, peppers, red and green, uh, and we put a little bit of mango just to keep it um, to be a little different and a little tastier. So um, it's lionfish, it's delicious, and you really should try it sometime. Uh, my name is TJ Manrique, and I am uh, one of the people that work at Orange Bloom, a very nice restaurant right here in downtown Fort Pierce. Okay, these are our judges, and we just finished uh, tasting the lionfish entrees, dishes, whatever you want to call them. But this one, is, what's your name? Leslie Moyers with Virginia College. He is the executive chef, chef here that will have a great opinion. So tell us what you thought. Well, I thought it was a great competition, wonderful weather today. All, all the chefs out here done a great time creating with this lionfish. The flavor profiles were phenomenal. Great depth of flavor. The, the way they played with the acid, with the ceviche dish, uh, some of the other tacos and the bread. The freshness of the, the lionfish is really wonderful. It would be great on any menu in the Treasure Coast area. The, the, the winner today was actually the brewery, the Selfish Brewery. Yeah, that was a local restaurant here in Fort Pierce. Their flavor profile was phenomenal. 
It was an honor today to be a part of the judging competition. We, we have the mayor of Fort Pierce. Hi. Hello. I love this guy already. So he's with Virginia College. He's a chef and an instructor. Thank you so much for being here today. You're quite welcome. You're quite welcome. And we have Gail Harrell. I'm State Representative Gail Harrell, and I am just delighted to be part of this wonderful team. It's a tough decision, let me tell you, to see which of these three amazing restaurants uh, did the best, but I thought everyone was spectacular. I really loved it all, and it was one of the toughest decisions we had to make. But thank everybody for participating. I agree. And Selfish Brewing Company, they also gave us a little taste of their lionfish brew, which was uh, different. I don't think any, any of us have had this kind of beer before, even tasting. So anyway, go see them. Thanks for coming out. And uh, we'll let you know who the real winner is soon. For the presentation of the awards. I'll, while they're walking up here, I will start naming. Third place, the Orange Bloom. Second place, the Potbelly Deli. And in first place, Sailfish Brewery. Two people tied for first place yesterday. Let's see if we're our largest fish. Let's see what we can do today. We have lots of money and prizes to give away. Don't go anywhere because we want to break even. Hey, this is Clyde with Treasures of Port Pierce website, and I'm here with Al Beltran, and he just won first place in the Chef Challenge of the fourth annual Lionfish Safari Food. What do you call it? I don't know. But anyway, Chef Challenge. Um, were you were you surprised? Well, of course. It was last minute. Just yesterday, I had a spot open up, and I said, well, I like to make stuff, so hopefully they like it, and they did. There also the lionfish beer, which yes. was amazing and had quite a bite to it. Yes, it was and a major, major part of the whole dish. You know, it was the lionfish, we had the lion actual fish, and we had the lionfish pale ale, you know, throughout the whole experience, so, and it worked. So. so, hey, well, thank you, Al, and congratulations. Thank you, thank you, man. Selfish Brewing Company. Hey, this is Plythe with Treasures of Fort Pierce website, and I'm here with our own mayor of Fort Pierce, Mayor Linda Hudson, and she's down here at the fourth annual Lionfish Safari. She was kind of a substitute judge. I, I sort of took her place <laughs> because they told her Thank the wrong you. time, but, but she ended up being able to judge because Gail Harrell was allergic to mango, so she couldn't have one of the dishes. So uh, how was your experience today? Oh, um, I was so glad to be down here today and see uh, everybody out thinking about the lionfish and we're trying to catch as many as we can and eat as many as we can. How did you, uh, how did you like it? I liked it. I liked it. The, the, the last one I tasted and uh, it had mango in it and Gail Harrell couldn't taste it so I ate it. It was delicious. Really good clean taste and cilantro and the citrus taste. It was great. It was great. So this is a great cause, and we're here in front of our beautiful Fort Pierce City Marina, which has just been completed and is now the talk of the country because it's one of a kind, and our islands in front of the marina are cleaning the water of the Indian River Lagoon. So we're doing our part. I know you're such an advocate of education, of the environment, and uh, the beautification of Fort Pierce, and also keeping our rich history with progress. 
And we so appreciate your time you. and appreciate you being here. Thank you. Um, she's always fun to, to talk to. I just love this lady. So thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. And you promote Fort Pierce. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.